Welcome back to my new video. Uh, so in this video, I'm mean going to show you how to uh, configure the SSS VPN uh, using the credential on uh, Azure AD account. So, so let's just start it. Uh, the first thing you need to uh, have the account or uh, domain on the Azure AD so it is my account on the Azure AD you can go to the uh, portal azure.com and click on select on uh, uh, manage Microsoft interest ID so the first thing you need you navigate at the left hand you will see the enterprise application enterprise application here so click on the enterprise application here you will see uh, this one at the application so uh, at here the application is and created already but it's not related to the topics today so i will going to make a new application and after you can search the s uh, four ticket you will see the four ticket uh ssl ribbon so in this video, I'm going to do uh, only with the four ticket uh, plus with uh, Azure AD on this, right? Okay, uh, after you select on the four ticket SSL Rebuion, you will click on the create. Okay, please check a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's adding the application successfully. Uh, and the next step, you need to go to uh, sign up the single sign on, right? Sign on, single sign on, and click the sign on. Sign on. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't worry, the, it's, it's very complicated. You have to follow me step by step. You will. Uh, get the great result after watching this video so please don't get uh, please don't uh, forget to click the subscribe and comment a lot or share this video to your friend or uh, your team co-workers that is work in the IT field so okay so go let's start to our point uh, you will to take uh, at this stake and the next step, uh, you need to the first step, uh, click the edit. You need to fill the, uh, some information from the uh, 40 get and the Azure AD and Azure AD is to the 40 get. So let's don't worry. I will guide you to how to success on this configuration. So add basic some more configuration and click the edit. So you see uh, at the a uh, right hand it have the some the information you need to uh, fill. Uh, okay, it's just the pattern it give for example the pattern for the get and remote some other uh, login. Okay, so now we are uh, go to take a look at the forty get. Uh, at the forty get, you need to uh, go to the user authentication and click on the some more authentication. Just follow me step by step, right? Click on sign up, single sign on, okay, and click to create. And here is just to put your name for your single sign on, just put the Azure, something like that. And you and at this address, you did fill with the uh, your published IP and the port number for the SSL VPN. You're going to SSL. VPN. Okay, so now I'm go to the VPN setting and to keep, copy the address and port and copy and paste here. Okay, you see. Uh, so now I have the uh, entity's ID, uh, ACS URL and the single sign 
in your law or service you are saying and you need to copy this information to the azure ad just follow me right okay and copy the first the, the azure ad and click on identity id and click identify and click pass here okay and touch and add one more is is a login you copy the login okay put here and at this one uh, you, you can uh, put login also because uh, the pattern is so that uh, uh, the 40 get fqdn or fqdn uh, remote on some more and login and uh, here it's just the optional and the login you are all just the optional but you can take uh, the complete the url here Mm, okay, I just put here. Uh, and after that, you can log a uh, review again your configuration. Uh, if it is fine, you can click step. Okay. Click serve. Okay, and uh, set successfully. Uh, click no. I will test error. Uh, and the next step, you oh at this at this point you can uh, the certificate it can uh, click one certificate to uh, to authorize with the SSL VPN and click the nick. Okay. Um. Yeah. At this step, at this step, uh, you can you can click on the custom. Why you click on the custom? Because the Azure AD is is not the Forty net product, right? This it for Azure AD is not a forty net product, so that's why you need to click and type on this custom. Uh, custom is we need to require uh, entity's ID, uh, ACS URL and uh, local service URL also as well. Uh, as well, mm, please goes to the full Azure AD. So go to Azure AD. You will uh, complete this information, okay? And you scroll down, and scroll down. You click, you see uh, this information. Login URL and click copy login URL and pass on the Azure search exception, okay? URL and the I entity ID. Uh, click. Uh, the Microsoft and identify copy that URL and pass here and the log out the last one and click the pass here. Okay, here is the certificate that you need to download from the Azure AD. Here you can download it and step three as some more certificate and click on the certificate space 64 and click self download because I'm, I'm download already I no need to download again I just to uh, input import sorry import and just upload and click the certificate you download from the Azure AD and click open oh sorry I click OK so, and after that you will see the uh, remote certificate is pop up in here you click on that uh, the next step is the additional um, summer attribute. This is uh, it's where uh, the SSL VPN is will take this attribute to display your username that you log in uh, on SSL VPN. So please take a look at the Azure AD. Uh, goes up to the attribute and claim. So at here. Uh, you need to um, just to add username, just to add a name, attribute value as a name, it will use the user a principal name. You just put the name, like the name. Uh, okay, name. Okay, and yes, everything is log good and uh, verify again as everything you can click uh, correctly. You can click the submit. Okay, click the submit. And yes, it's no need to uh, order configuration. 
And the next step, uh, after you create the successfully single sign on, you can go to the user group to map to the single, this single sign on the previously created previously. Uh, and I create the new group, uh, they put the name of Azure special and the remote group click add and select the report server in Azure and click OK. OK, click OK and click OK. OK, that's good. Remind, oh, I'm, I'm forgot to tell you uh, uh, the important point here. Uh, you need to add your user uh, into your uh, group, into uh, this this group. Cool. Add here. You did you see I'm um, not you uh take to to forty get SSL VPN. You select the user and group. You need to add the user that you want to allow to access the SSL VPN uh, for authentication, right? So and click the add. Include the user. It will pop up the user, all the user you you have in the Azure AD. So for example, it here is have the command and cookie and users uh, zeros one. So and click the command my is my user and click that. And you can you have the group now. You can go to the create one policy that allow the SSL VPN and go to the firewalls policy. And I have created already a sure SSL VPN. You can create the follows uh, what you see in this video. Click the adjust to put the name a sure SSL VPN and click the incoming interface from the SSL tunnel interface and outgoing to uh, outgoing interface and source. You click the all and add your group that you create a sure SSL, right? And click save. Okay, no need to not click save. Okay. So now uh, after config girl uh, properly, uh, now on stands to uh, demo for you how does it work. Uh, goes to the the first and uh, test for this two scenario, the ones with the web mode and another one with the uh sorry tunnel mode okay so i'm um, go to the web mode first click the web mode uh, add this here after you configure the the correctly it's really pop up this button uh the thing called sign on at here so you need to click on this button and click on that it will redirect you to the Microsoft Azure uh, log in your credential. This is my account, document dot blah blah. That include on my DS account and input my password. Uh, my account has two factor authentication that it needs to launch from the uh, from my phone. And click twelve and click yes. Okay. Approve. So it will release to the portal. And click yes. Okay, you see, this is my portal. It's my portal. I will show you the one small scenario. You have the 40 client, right? Uh, this one, I'm open the 40 client for you. And uh, disconnect it. Uh, you need to uh, edit your uh, 40 client uh, setting and click edit here. This one, I use the external browser for the authentication. Okay, please take a look again. Click the sign more. It's very ready to use to the one uh, portal and to uh, Microsoft Azure and click the uh, login your credential. Okay, 
So now it will really be back to establish the SSS to name. So let's take time a little bit. Okay. So now successful, right? This is my uh, user a uh, principal name uh, on the issue eighty. So yes, that's all for my uh, demo for you today. So I hope this video is helpful to you and you will get the experience on the on new stuff and you have a lot of the technology and the uh, feature that you can play around on the 14th product please don't forget to click the subscribe on my channel see you guys in the next video please stay tuned